Okay, guys. Oh, God. Look what we have growing here. Oh, no. What the hell? It's just that time of the month. What can I say? But anyways... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Life as Monica Miller, and I have some good and bad news, and if you want to hear what the good news and the bad news is, tune in. So, I'm going to be out for six weeks on December 10. I'll be having a major surgery to remove my bulging disc in my lower back and replace it with an artificial one. So, I don't know how long I'm going to be out for. I know I won't be doing makeup tutorials for a while, which kind of bums me out because I want to get all this new makeup. It's coming out, you know, on sale, but I think I'm just going to pass that up because it's just going to make me anxious. It's going to want me to try to do makeup tutorials, and I know I'm going to be supposed to be resting because it is a surgery on my spine, and I don't want nothing stressing me out. So, today I'm just relaxing. It's a day after Thanksgiving. Um, really tired. Really tired. I didn't get home till like almost 11. So, I'm like really tired. No, down, down, down. He always wants to come up when I'm vlogging. He thinks I'm talking to him. But, yeah, like, I didn't want to look dead. So, all I did was put some blush and some lip gloss, and I was like, let's do this. So, but, yeah, I didn't do my makeup when I went to Thanksgiving. I didn't care. <laughs> I just wanted to go spend it with my kids, and I, I just was not in the mood. I was sleeping most of the day until... My brother hit me up, and he's like, all right, I'm going to get ready to go. So I'm like, okay, I'll spark me a cigarette. And then, you know, next thing you know, he calls me again. I'm outside. I'm like, how fast were you driving? Like, you know? But I do feel my medicine kicking in, my pain medication, because my lower back has been killing me. So I'm kind of going to try to get this vlog out out the way before I get woozy because yeah I feel it kicking in which is good because the pain is going away little by little and it's kind of annoying to vlog in my living room when I have my neighbor's kids outside screaming specifically one kid but I'm not going to put his name on there because he's a minor but he's a wild one Oh, we just heard something in the kitchen move. So, I've been wondering, should I start, like, a paranormal series? Like, talk about all the paranormal stuff that's happened to me here. We've already caught paranormal things on my camera, on my other vlogs. So, I forgot the name of the vlog that we actually caught something moving. And, yeah, so, at night, we hear chairs moving, we hear things in the kitchen, um, sometimes when I go to the bathroom, I come out here and look around, there's nothing, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary, nothing seems to be, like, moved, so, I just figured I'm hearing things, so I just go use the bathroom and go back to bed, even though I still hear the things, but I'm like, whatever. It's just in my mind, but I know it's my sister. Like yesterday, I was thinking about her a lot, and the lights started flickering. And that's how I know when she's here. And when the lights started flickering, I was 
really happy to know that she was here with me on Thanksgiving, spiritually. So, and even when we were in Thanksgiving, the lights went on and off out there, but my family didn't know what it was and everything, but I knew what it was. I just didn't say anything, but I told my kids, that's, yeah, Patty, she's here. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, just... So, they were all, hi, yeah, Patty, and stuff, and, you know, and the lights flickered on and off, and we sat by the bonfire, and it was so much fun. The kids roasted marshmallows. Um, I wasn't feeling good. I guess we got there a little too late, so the food was all cold when we were eating, and um, it kind of made me sick. So I had a run and up chug. So that wasn't really cool. And um so yeah, but other than that, I had a great time. My kids and their stepmom made stuffed mushrooms, and that's what I had for lunch. But it's like I'm hungry again. Well, I guess because I started my menstrual period today, so I was like, I don't know, I'm being a pig. But it's like, I'm hungry again. Like, I just ate. Oh, it's 418. That makes sense why I'm hungry. And, yeah, so, but it was a great time. I had a wonderful time with my father-in-law there. Even if me and my ex-husband are divorced, he's always going to be my father-in-law. He's always going to be my dad, no matter what. And I feel so much more comfortable with him being there. And I spent the whole night with my daughter, Haley. I took pictures of my other two daughters by the bonfire. My son was playing and having so much fun that I couldn't get a picture of him. I couldn't. He wouldn't stay still for a picture. When I was going to take out my camera, I take a picture, I look up, and he's gone. And it's like, where do you go? I'm like, where did you go? So, it was a really wonderful day. Um, we got there a little late, but, you know, my, my brother had to do things before. So, um. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, stop it. Stop. Stop. Uh, those little kids be knocking on my door. It's just so annoying, especially when I'm taking a nap. So it's like, I close my door when I'm taking a nap. So I don't hear nobody knocking. I don't care if they're knocking. I'm taking a nap. Don't disturb me. And the medication's making me a little, little bit sleepy. So, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving with your family. And happy late Thanksgiving. So, I will try to edit this today and put it up today. And meanwhile, I'm going to warm me up some Thanksgiving food I brought home with me. And start pigging out again. And... I'm actually, I'm bloated right now, but you guys know it's that time of the month, so you get bloated, but I think I'm going to gain all the weight that I lost, because I'm, like, picking out, like, literally picking out, so I'm going to get the plate out, go warm it up, and eat a little bit, not eat too much, and save some for dinner or something, so with that being said, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your families and friends, and I sure did. It was the best Thanksgiving in my entire life so far. More to come, I hope. If God gives me permission, more to come. I am struggling with ovarian cancer, cardiovascular disease, and autoimmune disease. I was diagnosed with the cancer this Saturday. I was diagnosed with the cardiovascular disease and autoimmune disease on Monday. So, 
what a way to spend these days before Thanksgiving. I was just in hell in my mind. I was just in a very dark place. Like, this may be my last Thanksgiving with my kids. I hope it's not. But I was going to make the best of it. And I did. So, but I'm taking the proper precautions. I made all my doctor's appointments already, but, you know, because of the holidays, they're in January and March. January is my cardiologist appointment. March is my rheumatoid, rheumatoid, I can't say it, rheumatoiditis doctor's appointment. I, I don't even know if I said that wrong. I probably slaughtered that word, but... Yeah, rheumatoid arthritis, not rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatoid doctor, or something like that. I can't say. So, but yeah, I'm going to warm, warm some of this food up, eat a little bit, and take a nap and try to sleep this medication off. So, with that being said, I love you guys, and I hope you had a wonderful time with your family and friends. This is a time to be thankful, and I am thankful to be alive while I'm alive. And I'm so thankful for my wonderful kids and my father-in-law and, and my family, and I just had the best of the time. Yeah, I didn't speak to certain family members, but... The reason I didn't speak to them is because I was going to have nothing nice to say. So I either keep my mouth shut and just go on like if they don't exist. So, like my mom taught me, if you have nothing nice to say, keep your mouth shut. So that's what I did. Kept my mouth shut. They're like playing right out here. I swear to God, if they make a mess with that styrofoam, I'm going to flip. I'm going to flip. So with that being said, <laughs> they're just kids. But with that being said, I love you guys. And I will see you in my next vlog. I'm going to try to push out as many vlogs as I can before December 10. I think I'll probably vlog the morning I'm going to my surgery. And then after surgery. So. I will let you guys know how it goes. And. Yeah. We'll take it from there. But right now I'm just going to. Just do more eye looks. Play around with colors. Like green. Red. Blues. Like. The Christmas color seasons and try to make some really nice eye looks using those colors because I know those colors are hard to use especially the blue and the thing I have with the blues is they're very hard to blend that's my issue with the blues which is why I don't like blue eyeshadows because they're kind of hard to work with but we'll make it work we'll make it work so, meanwhile, I'm going to go warm up some food and get to eating. And you back off, little girl. She bites me when I push her off me. So, I have to literally get up to get her off me. So, I'm just watching my coat because it's on the sofa and they keep jumping around. So, that's why I'm like just keeping an eye on my coat. I just took my other antibiotic. While my stomach is still full, and I want to put more food in my stomach so it doesn't make me nauseous. So, with that being said, I love you guys. I will try to push a few more blogs out. And wish me luck in my surgery. And I love you, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.